So what Crohn's does, it attacks your, your small intestines. Small intestines are, they how long small intestines, but it's long. It has to be like three feet, four feet. I, don't give me all the words, but it's very long. And it's just, you eat food, goes down, and what it does is processes it. It's a tube, it just goes in the line. Goes in the line. So along it going down the line, your body is processing what it is. Processing the food. 20 feet, gosh. Your small intestine is 20 feet. I was way off. I should have times it by at least, what, five or six. So about 20 feet. So like I said, your food is going down, right? So your food is going down. While it's going in your body, it's getting processed. It's taking the food for many things. It's taking it for energy. It's getting the vitamins that it needs. And it's going to create waste. Of course, you got to use the bathroom. So it's taking out what it needs and it's throwing away what it don't. Taking it what it needs, and it's doing that process all the way along. What Crohn's did within my body, what it did is a partial point of, of uh, 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 pieces of the small intestine, it became infected. So it's kind of like, I would say, a uh, pus or like, maybe you can invite like an ulcer. Like a little ulcer, if you had like a little like ulcer or on your lip or something like that. It's the same thing that's on the small intestine. I had a few of them on there. So it'll keep going, imagine the food going down. And what it would do is, it would get to that point when I had the, the, the infected and the ulcer and it would stop the food. Or what it would do is, it's like it, it doesn't know what to do, so it'll just, it'll just push everything out